Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name's Tammy and I'm making wax melts today. I have a lot of these one ounce bottles of fragrance oils. Just random bottles that I have bought over the year. And what I do with these is I either will make a wax melt with them or I'll make a bath bomb with them or I will put them into my blend basket. So here, I brought it out for you guys. <laughs> Here is my blend basket. These are bottles of fragrance oil that I am specifically blending. And that's really my only, uh, it's my only uh, purpose for them. But most of these are just the little one ounces that I'm just not in love with, but I think they may do well in a blend. And I just have those set aside for when I get a hankering to blend. Otherwise, wax melts or bath bombs is usually what happens with them. So this weekend I did a fair number of wax melts and I have a fair number more to do. I am having an open house in about a week and a half and I want to have a chance to gift these wax melts to my customers when they come through so they can all pick out one or two wax melts and hopefully uh, get back with me on whether they think they're good or not. And that way I have a huge random uh, pool of customers giving me feedback. That's the plan. That's why I kind of stopped my soap making and I have been making wax melts. So I'm going to bring the camera down so you can kind of see where I'm at with all of that and then I'm just going to make a couple more because that's what I'm doing. Right here on my tray is my current this weekend's work. I have cinnamon buns and if you will notice, I don't know if you'll notice, this only has three where all of these others have four. I miscalculated my fragrance oil. So these are about 13% on accident. <laughs> I was like, well, if these are really good, I'm gonna have to retest them with a 10% fragrance load because I really don't go above 10, but for some reason I made a mistake and all of these, these uh, five were made with like 13% fragrance load. But I have cinnamon buns from Nature Garden. I have honey spiced pear. Who boy. I really like that out of the bottle. So I hope that turns out well. Then I have black cherry bomb from Nature's Garden, which is this is no longer skin safe. So I was I bought it. I went ahead and bought an eight ounce bottle, but I really hope that this works in my wax melts. Then I have sea mist. Smells really good cold throw. Uh, this is a, a Cottage Breeze. It's a Yankee. I think I was at a friend's house and she had this burning in her bathroom and I was in love with it. So I was happy to see a duplicate. French Toast from Midwest Fragrance Guys. Whoo! That smells so good. Calla Lily. I wanted a flower one. This one is really strong at the higher percentage. I mean like almost it's way too strong. <laughs> well, I'll have to see what people think about that, but I need a floral. I think if I made this again, I might actually go down to 8 or 9%. And this one is cinnamon bread pudding from Aztec, and that smells so good as well. So let me set this aside. I do ProBlend 650 tart wax, but I do add a bit of a percentage of the... I think it's IGI. It's a paraffin. I can never remember these numbers. It's IGI 4625. And the reason... Sorry. The reason I add this is I find that the Pro Blend on its own doesn't release from your burner as well as I would like for it to. So I just have it in this container, a couple... 10 pound blocks there. And to the side of me, I just have a huge tote from Walmart that I have my tart wax in. Oops. I am just going to melt this down and get my cube things here ready. So what I did was I made sure, 
after my mistake that I can get four clamshells with one ounce of fragrance oil at a 10% load. So that is what I've done here. And I'm gonna do next, Cell de Mer, Ocean Breeze, both from Candle Science. And I really like this Cashmere Cedar from Flaming Candle. Mmm, I really, really like that. Um, and then I've got a few more to do on my next round, but right now I'm just doing the three cents at one time. So this is gonna melt down to 185, and then I'm gonna pull off 10 and a half ounces before I add my fragrance oil. I'll be back. Let's see where we're at here. 187, that is perfect. For Cell de Mer, I'm gonna, I know it doesn't really go, but I'm gonna use this green leaf dye because I've not used it yet, and I just wanna get a feel for how that is gonna look. For 10 ounces, I really am only just doing one drop. Uh oh. I kinda got some, <laughs> got some of my color on my spatula like that. I probably should have taken it out when I did it. That's all right, it'll come off. I got these little, um, I don't know, like, I think they're like one ounce, like flower pucks from Rustic Essentials. They're like metal. And I thought, well, if I have any left over, which sometimes I'm filling these up too high to use up all my wax. So I thought, well, this might be kind of a cute little uh, sample I can give out. I think this is the first weekend that I've made products. Like I was busy down here making shampoo bars and soap and wax melts and bath bombs. And I only taped one thing of soap. That's the only thing I did. And that was, I think Friday. I can't remember the last time I didn't tape <laughs> just whatever I was doing. <laughs> yep, 162, I like to pour at that 160 to 165, just because I reuse these clamshells now, and I don't want it, I don't want it to be too hot that it melts them, or not. It's not going to melt them, but it it can distort them if the, if it's super hot. skewer all right clean this out really quickly this is over here staying hot on to my next little Ten and a half ounces, I'll be right back. That dropped down to 180, so I'm gonna move a little quick and get my fragrance oil in there. Oops, oh my goodness. <laughs> of course it fell right in there. That was Ocean Breeze, and I'm gonna use Key West Green, another green one. I try to stir a good two minutes. I don't always make it. So this dropped down to 176, so I just turned it up. Put a little heat on it so it stays at 180, 85. That's where I want it to stay before I add my fragrance oil and color. I'm 
All right, I will go ahead and weigh off this just to make sure I do have a, a good 10 and a half ounces. And next is my cashmere cedar. And I'm just gonna use an ivy drop, which is gonna be pretty dark for this 10 ounces. So I don't necessarily need 10 and a half ounces <laughs> for, for clamshells, but it's one of those things that I'm doing a 10% a fragrance load. I have to use 10 and a half ounces uh, for that. Oh man, this smells good, guys. This smells really good. All right, so these three are done. I'm gonna get another uh, wax load melting. By the time those are melted, I'll be able to at least move these off to the side. I will unmold them uh, probably either tonight or tomorrow morning. Just to share how ridiculous I am, this is my other box of samples and testers that I wanna do. <laughs> This is more of your fall scents. There's a lot of like frosted juniper and birch. Uh, so I'm doing some fall scents today, but most of these are definitely fall. <laughs> but yeah, I have a little wax melt sticker on it. I'm far from done. <laughs> I don't know how many I'm gonna be doing in the next few days. Uh, or actually today I want to be done with them. So I'm not going to be doing anything out of there, I don't think. I think I'm going to do a Georgia peach one, see how that works. I don't know, guys. Peach is not my favorite. Um, and then the rest of these I'm really not all that excited about. I've got this Bum Bum from Midwest Fragrance that I don't care for, but a lot of people are like super over the top about how much they love it. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna give that a try. And then I got this honeydew and coconut cream. I am sorry, this thing smells so bad. <laughs> uh, ugh, I, I do not even a little bit like this. So I'm gonna make a wax melt with it. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do it. I, I'm gonna see what my customers think and I may never pick that thing up again. I do not like it. My next three fragrances I'm gonna test are three that I don't like. Put those aside, put that aside. The three, uh, and I'm not gonna say a word to the customers that come to my open house. I'm not gonna say a word. I'm just gonna sit back and wait for people to smell these three scents and, and see what, what kind of response I get. <laughs> All right, guys, I am here after my open house. I have been pretty tired today. I mean, I know craft shows are hard, but I'm beat. That open house, man, that's a lot of work. I'm really thankful for everybody that came out and supported me on my Christmas in July open house. I did let my customers choose wax melts to have. Just as a as a bit of a backstory here, the people that come to my open house are friends, family, and or routine shoppers. So I felt quite comfortable giving wax melts untested to them. So let me just kind of throw that out there. I'm not giving complete strangers wax melts that are not tested. But I, and, you know, and I let them know, hey, these are, I don't know, over 50% of these wax melts aren't going to make the cut for me. So it's just a gamble, but they are gifts to you if you want to give them a try and just let me know. And so, of course, free wax melts, they were all happy to do that. The most popular scents that left the house was cinnamon bread pudding. I only have one of those. I only have one of the French toast left. I have one cinnamon bun left and I have one Cottage Breeze left. So those were the four that people really gravitated to and took as their gift testing, you know, uh, wax melts. 
the ones that didn't take at all, no one took Georgia peach. <laughs> Not one person took Georgia peach. Nobody took Walk by the Ocean, which is what I'm calling uh, Ocean Rose. I really like Ocean Rose and it's a very soft, fresh, clean floral. I'm really anxious to test this. I have not had a chance to test this yet, but I really, really like it. I'm surprised no one took a freewee. And then Calla Lily, no one took Calla Lily. It is a little overpowering. It, I mean, it's it's way, way too strong. So I, I'm gonna test this, but I'll probably test it at half of, a, half of my cubes. I may cut one in half or something. It's really overpowering, so I can understand why people didn't take that one. If I like it, um, I may go down to like six or eight percent in it because it, it is very strong cold throw. I still need to test it for the hot throw. So anyway, that's it. I had a fun time making these wax melts. I usually end up making too many, which I did. <laughs> made too many, but uh, I will know further on after I personally do all of these tests, I'll be able to decide whether I want to bring those into my line, whether it's this fall or next year. It's just part of the process to test. It's expensive. <laughs> it gets expensive testing all these wax melts. So guys, that's it for me today. I am going to be making some more wax melts, but it won't be for a few more months. Thank you so much for the time you spent with me today. I really do appreciate that. Give me a comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff for me. I really do appreciate it because it really does help my channel. And I will see you in the next one.